if you are a parent, then you know that loving your children is something that just happens. But how far do you take your love for your children? Well, one man in particular in the United States of America, back in 2015, did the unthinkable. His son had come into the intensive care unit and the doctors wanted to do what they call a wean, which means to basically wean off the life support, also known as a terminal wean. So basically what ended up happening is the dad was there and there was a very short window and they wanted to wean him off. They wanted to kind of basically just let his son die. So what do you do when you're a father in the United States of America? Well, of course, you grab a mother flipping gun. And that's exactly what he did. He grabbed the gun, had to stand off with entire SWAT teams and the police and everything for three to four hours. And in those hours, he continuously gave the command to his son, who was supposedly brain dead, according to the doctors, to squeeze his hand, which he did four times during that period. And here's the incredible thing. The son actually recovered. He recovered fully. So this dad literally saves his, his son's life. Now, some people might say he's being reckless and he's endangering other patients in the hospital too. Like, what about those? And whilst I agree with that, I get that, you have to understand the motivations here. I think endangering other people's life is definitely something, but it could be argued that this was kind of like defense in a way. For him, standing up with the doctors and the police was self-defense. He didn't intend to harm anyone else, but he did want to protect his son at all costs. And who can fault a parent for wanting to protect their children? No one can, right? I think that that's a very natural thing. The question does become like, how far do you take that? Because like, this is kind of like already controversial, but let's say your child murders someone, an innocent person, would you still support them? Would you still love them? Are you biologically hardwired and therefore can you not ever stop loving your child? I don't believe that. I think there's a lot of parents who do end up neglecting their children. Some deserve it, some don't. Point is, I think this dad is outstanding. I think that the amount of love you must feel for your child is beyond just the genetic at that point. Because you're not just going and protecting your child, you're also putting yourself in the line of fire. And you're not just putting yourself in the line of fire, you're risking throwing your entire life away and even leaving your other family members without you in case you get shot or you get put away in jail, jail for a long amount of time, depending on how the situation unfolds. Now, in the end, of course, the court case was kind of like, well, you know, we get it. So he was kind of like, um, a lot of the charges were kind of like lowered or, or even dropped. Um, but basically, I just wanted to, to, to tell you guys the story about how amazing that is. Like, think about what goes through your mind when your son is about to die and this is the brain that, and then he's squeezing your hand whenever you tell him to on command. That's incredible. Like, I, I can't imagine, like, the feelings he must have had in that particular moment. Also, my camera's stuttering. I'm very sorry. My computer's having some issues. I'm going to get it looked at, but... Um, yeah, so if my, my, my uh, camera is stuttering, you'll know why, my webcam. Um, so yes. Well, thank you all for watching. This was a pretty short video, but I don't think there's any more to say about this. But uh, great dad, amazing, glad the son survived, and uh, wholesome story, but also kind of goofy and movie-like. So uh, subscribe, leave a like, comment down below what you'd like to see me cover next, and I'll see you guys in the next one.